I. My next repair will be a Kodak Carousel 760H. Uh, a common problems, problem with those kinds of projectors it's the small part that is used to make the carousel go forwards or reverse break. When, with, with the time it became really really dry and the first time you try to use it nothing's happened because it breaks and if I try it right now you see that nothing happened. Maybe this one can work but the harm that that is used to make the forward and the reverse doesn't work. So we have to disassemble to be able to change the, that part. Uh, so let's go. So first thing to do, remove all the bottom screws. I will also remove remove the lamp. the lenses. I will clean it up uh, when I will replace it inside. So there it are. There it is. And the other things to remove it's this. So now I can remove the back cover. Oh, there's something broke right here. So I would put it there. With those old devices, <laughs> it happened that sometimes some of the parts inside are broken. So, the next next thing I will remove, where the lamp is located, I will remove that, uh, this little part here. I think someone already played with it. <laughs> Sorry for the sound. Drop one of my screwdriver. magic eye here we have to remove be careful with it put it there then small screw here another one here There it is, and uh, there they are. The other part, uh, I have to remove the fan housing. There they are. And 
here. Oops, I got where did this one? Like you see, there's a lot of screws here. I've made a lot of them, so this is why I know where to go. I think someone already played inside of it and something is lewd or maybe because of the lamp yeah because of the lamp some part plastic part melt uh, over the metal parts so it's it's stuck there Exactly what happened. We have to be careful with the meter. I don't want to break it. So what we will do is yeah, it's stuck there. Got it. There's a little metal part here. It's only a small cover. So I can put it there and remove this little part. We will have to put it back. Uh, can you see that? The light melt everything inside. It was really too hot. So this is why I have some difficulties to remove everything. We'll put it, those things here. Now here. <laughs> here it is. So now I have access to the other screw here. On the other side. This screw. This one. And a third one. Now I can remove that thing. And uh, there is one here. Like you see, it's not a simple job. There's a lot of screws everywhere. I 
with any move adapter. Uh, you have to remove the little spring here. There it is. The button that maintain. Whoops, too fast. I have to remove the lens before then remove the button. <laughs> the knob. It's not a button, but it's a knob. Uh, here. And here. Sometimes I can't replace uh, the part without removing the motor here. But on the other times, I will have to remove it. There is three long screws that maintain the motor, the motor in place. Uh, I will try to make it without removing it. There it is. And a final screw here. Finally, I can bring this, oops, where is the screw, uh, it's here, now it's down, and remove that thing, it's the dance holder, now we have access to what we need here. Remove that screw. This one. And this one. Here it is. And the small plate. Finally, we have access to the solenoid here. You only have to uh, put it on the side like that and remove this part. There it is. So, I will remove the rivet that is here and put a new one. So, with my Dremel, I move this, oops, and this. Take the brand new one, oops, sorry. Put it in place, then put a new rivet in, on it. Finally, there it is. The new one is in place, so we have to re put back uh, the, the cylinder inside the uh, solenoid. Okay, ready to put it back to the part in place. So, 
I will take my solenoid here put put it inside the hole and you have to push back the new one and don't be afraid to uh, pry it because it's really soft and it will enter in place it has to enter on the far side first Here, there it is there it is so I got it I will uh, bring, uh, put back my plate here And this part, eh, this screw here. This one. Now the other one. Now the up and down uh, ways the go the the plate goes here. It's for the sound only. Uh, most of the time I've put it maybe uh, a quarter inch here. Uh, a, a one height will be uh, perfect and I screwed there and we will try it before uh, reassembling everything so just check everything so nothing touch cause to cause a short circuit and it worked if I play, I play it, push this button here, you see that everything works. On the other side, I have to be grounded, so to be working. Now it's time to put it back, uh, everything in place, and it will work again. So, I reassemble everything and put the carousel on it. If I start right now, if I place on forward, it works perfectly. Backward. There it is. And this button also told me to replace a, uh, a, a slide, a slide inside. Uh, if I open the lamp, number one. Front. <laughs> yeah. Just perfect. Thank you. Have a nice day.